What's up guys? Welcome back to today's video and hello world. Welcome back to another, I'd say this is episode three of skincare in bed with me. You guys loved last week's video so I was like, why not make this a weekly series? We can crawl in bed, we can chit chat, we can catch up, I can answer your questions. In last week's video, I got so many questions in the comment section down below. So in today's video, I am going to go through your questions, answer your questions. I'm gonna do a little skincare, I'm gonna do a little pamperation session because I know that's why you guys are here. I'm gonna be doing the Hellpore Cleanup Mask. Now, if you've been following me since the very beginning, actually in the first year that I started my YouTube channel, I did this as an entire review. This is known as the world's most painful peel-off mask. If you remember that, I'll link it down below. But honestly, I haven't used it in the two years since I tested it. It's been in the bottom of my, underneath my sink, at the bottom of my skincare abyss. So I was like, I might as well pull it out. I checked the expiry date on the back. It doesn't expire for a few more months in 2019. What's 09? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. September of 2019. So I've actually got a couple months left on this. So I am gonna go ahead and apply this to the skin. We're gonna catch up, we're gonna chit chat. I also need to tell you guys something that I'm like a little bit embarrassed about here on my YouTube channel, about one of my videos, but I will get all into that later. First, let's go ahead and put this mask on my skin. Let's start pampering myself. If you guys have been following me, you know that I had IPL and clear and brilliant treatment. So for the last two weeks, I have been banned I have been banned from skincare. I have been sitting here, I haven't been talking to you guys, I've been literally twiddling my thumbs, not being able to exfoliate, not being able to face mask, and I'm like, you guys, Romeo just came in. You guys got to see Romeo in my last video. Actually, my last video that I would, did skincare in bed. He was in the back, let's see if he'll go back there today. All right, now I've got my pink panther mirror, my pink sweater, and my pink hat. Today is definitely sponsored by the color pink. I didn't plan any of this, but that's just the way it worked out. So how am I gonna do this? How am I going to apply this to the skin, hold this mirror, and talk to you guys at the same time? This is so typical. This is just the day that I'm having. Guys, I woke up at 5.30 this morning. Can you believe it? I normally wake up at six o'clock, so 5.30 is not a stretch, but like 5.30 is too early for me. I already went, I had a great workout this morning. I did a little bit of cardio, which I don't normally do. I'm so thin the way it is. I do not need to be doing any cardio. I pretty much just lift heavy weights as heavy weights as possible. So this morning I just did a little bit of light cardio because we don't wanna go into a calorie deficit. We don't wanna, you know, deplete these little muscles that I have because it took a lot of work to get on there. You know, I've been working out full time I want to say five or six years now and I'm just such a hard gainer that I need to stay away from cardio but this morning I just needed like a little bit of mental clarity I just wanted to think about what we were gonna do today what I was gonna film because I just wanted to relax today I wanted to pamper myself and honestly this is my favorite type of video to film for you guys because I just love to catch up chit chat apply skincare I mean I love doing tips and tricks but I also love just catching up with you guys. The type of YouTubers that I tend to watch are vloggers or people that do daily videos. I wish I could do daily videos. What type of videos do you guys wanna see from me? I would love to do daily videos, but the type of videos that I do, like the more beauty routine styles, they take so much editing. And I do not claim to be the editing wizard. I learned all of this just for YouTube and it's actually really difficult. It's really time consuming and I wish I had more time to do it but it just takes a long time. So I am getting better, I'm getting faster. I would love to post at least three videos for you guys a week. That would be my dream, my ideal dream. I almost think of myself as like the skincare mukbanger. Like you know when you watch people do mukbanging or eating on film, it's like not necessarily you're not there for any particular reason other than just to catch up, to hang out, to hang out with someone, to look at what they're eating, to look at what they're doing. And I kind of think of skincare as like my food. Skincare is definitely the food of my channel. What do you guys think about that? So if you guys are cool with me just like hanging out, chit-chatting, applying skincare, let me know in the comments down below. You know, I always say like whether you are, you know, just alone, relaxing right now, or you're pampering yourself, I would totally suggest doing like a face mask, doing your nails. I also love filming longer videos for you guys. There is a limit. I don't really like to watch anything longer than a half an hour. But I can totally commit to a half an hour for my favorite YouTuber. It's almost like a nice little escape, a nice little episode. And I always do the dishes or I do cleaning to YouTube and it just helps me pass the time. 
And that's exactly what I want to be for you. So definitely let me know what type of content you guys want to see from me. I love to do those skincare adventures. Like, you know, I'm getting the Clear and Brilliant and the IPL Laser. I've been doing facials. I've taken you guys to get a spray tan with me. I love that concept and I would love to take you guys with me to more procedures, to do more skincare related things, but really to get us out, get us talking to people and get us to see like the coolest trending things in skincare. So ultimately that's what I'm working toward and trust me guys, I am working for you. Ooh, and I should mention, I did bring this in the room as well. Before I just sat down to shower with you guys, wait, that was backwards. Before I just sat down, I showered. Wait, I'm really confused now. Before I sat down to film for you guys, I had a shower. Oh, that was a tongue twister. And I went ahead and washed my skin. Today I used my Chanel cleanser. I really just wanted a fresh skin base. This is an oil control cleanser, so it really leaves my skin feeling Tight is the wrong word because that's normally a negative thing associated with a face wash. I won't say it leaves my skin tight, it just leaves it really refreshed and really like taut. We'll say like taut feeling. And if you're someone who has oily skin, that's really good because it helps to control the oil, mattifies the skin. So yeah, that's the cleanser that I use today and it's the Chanel Gel Purite Cleanser. Now so far in every skincare routine in bed video, you guys know that I always have a little candy, a little snack that we can eat together. Today is not candy, but hello. I have got Ben & Jerry's Cherry Garcia ice cream. This is a total snack and we're just gonna dive right in. Can you guys see that? That is chocolate pieces and cherry chunks that dissolve in your mouth. Mm, oh my gosh, and it's melted. Ooh, it's like soft serve. Mmm, mmm, mmm. There is just something else. Did you guys notice, unless you buy expensive ice cream, if you buy cheap ice cream these days, it tastes like air. It doesn't taste like what I remember ice cream tasting like when I was a kid. Like, this is what I remember all ice cream tasting like, like smooth, creamy, and then at some point it turned into like, just air. Mmm. 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 I'm just gonna think about this for a moment. So I also wanted to bring something else up. Something that I'm a little bit embarrassed of, and other YouTube creators out there are definitely, hopefully, going to be able to relate to me. I guess this is just the price of being on the internet, the price of being on YouTube. Everything lasts forever. Even stuff that you're not necessarily proud of. I won't say I'm not proud of it, because I definitely am proud of it. But my most popular video here on my channel, which is my three-month Retin-A update, definitely my most popular video. It is getting tons of views and tons of comments, but necessarily not for the best reason. That video was so full of, I won't say misinformation, but I was so confused. I was calling Retin-A retinol. I was saying that it exfoliated the skin when it actually promotes, you know, new cells to come through, turning over the skin. I also applied way too much of my tretinoin. And you guys, the comments, I won't say hate comments, but like the concerned comments that I'm using so much product and that I'm confusing all of these terms. There's so many comments on the video every day I wake up and I have to answer the same thing. I've updated the description box. I've, you know, righted all my wrongs. My retin-A journey is just that. It's a retin-A journey. I'm not a dermatologist, I'm learning as I'm going. And I've done so many more Retin-A videos and I've updated them, I've corrected them, I've updated the description box. There's so many other videos that I would love to be known for other than that video, other than that video in particular. But I guess that's the price you pay being on YouTube and everything lasts forever. And I'm not mad because it's doing really well. It brings me a lot of traction for my channel, but the content of it is just like, I'd rank it at like a 7 out of 10, and I am a 10 out of 10 type of guy. 10 out of 10 or nothing at all, so I don't know. If you guys have experienced that, let me know in the comments down below. Mmm. This face mask is getting so itchy because I'm talking so much around my mouth here. It's peeling. Can you guys see that? Oh my gosh, this is so itchy. I look like the mummy. All right, let's peel this off because... I wanted to dive into some comments from my last skincare in bed video. If you want to have a shout out or if you want me to talk about your comments in the next skincare in bed video, comment on this one too. All right, let's peel this off so that I can go ahead and add a little bit of cream to my skin and then I can answer your guys' questions. Do I hold the mirror or do I look? You know what? I'm going to look right at you guys so that you can get the full effect. Let's see the world's most painful peel off mask. Uh, oh, I broke it already. 
to guys get satisfaction from oh i can feel it pulling on the little hairs satisfaction when people get their sheet mask off when they peel off their peel off mask all in one piece i think i'm going to be able to do it ta-da just as i remember not the most painful peel off mask ever actually no pain at all but did I mention that this contains activated charcoal and the reason that I used it today was kind of to mattify my skin, pull out any oils. I have a couple blemishes that I just wanted to tone up. Look, I got this literally in the perfect piece. I am impressed. Anyway, let's dive right into answering your questions on my last video, my last skincare in bed with me video. I'm also going to apply a little bit of face cream. I have been surprisingly loving this L'Oreal Paris Revitalift Sika Cream. This contains Centilla Asiatica. You guys, this is a miracle. It's like one of those new hot skincare ingredients. It is great for dry skin, red skin for the winter. This is like the perfect moisturizer. It is on the thicker side, so it works great, like I said, for the winter. Let's zoom in a little bit too. There we go. Up close and personal. All right, so the first comment I see here is from T. Shout out T, like T. T says, thanks for not screaming into the mic like everyone else, and that my videos are relaxing and a comfortable vibe. Hello, that is exactly what I'm striving for. I want us to feel like friends, because we are friends. And I love this next comment from Lauren Daniels. Lauren said that when my video popped up on her timeline, she went straight and got a sheet mask, put it on, and watched my video. Hello, we are face mask family. Face mask fam. Comment hashtag face mask fam in the comments down below. We are getting snatched one face mask at a time. CH Delivery, she's giving me hard eyes for being in bed with me. Hard eyes right back at you. I see you comment all the time. I love and appreciate the comments from you guys. Another comment here, what is my top face serum and face oil? In my last video, I don't know if this question is a little bit of a trolling question because I said that I hate answering favorite product questions but I don't have a favorite serum in particular because I'm always testing and trying new serums. Serums are one of those things, I feel like my hat is slipping right off my hair here. Serums are one of those things where they're for particular skin problems. So whether you wanna work on lightening dark spots or you wanna work on hydrating wrinkles or you wanna work on exfoliation, serums do those different intense things. Moisturizers just moisturize your skin, but serums fix skin concerns. So it depends what type of skin concern I have is depending on the serum that I use, whether it be a vitamin C serum, a hydration serum with lots of hyaluronic acid. But I do have a favorite face oil. Without a question, that's the Bosha Subaki Beauty Oil. I've mentioned it tons of times here on my channel. I've used it for years at this point. And I've used tons of other oils like rosehip oil, marula oil. I have it all in my skincare collection. But I love the Subaki Beauty Oil best because I find that it just smells nice. It's light. It's hydrating. If you put it on your skin before you go to bed, when you wake up in the morning, your skin is totally transformed. You can also add it to any products that are dried up, like a foundation, like a mascara wand. It's just one of those products that you like need to add into your skincare routine, into your beauty routine, because there's so many different ways that you can use it. Ooh, look, my face mask is dry and crispy, you guys. Today was something else. Thanks for coming over today. Thanks for hanging out with me for another skincare in bed, another pamperation session. Make sure if you like these style of chit chat videos, hanging out videos, if you want to become even better friends, let me know in the comments down below or let me know by giving this video a like. I guess that's it. I'm going to cruise out of here. Like always, if you made it to the end of this video, you are so special to me. You're the reason why I get to do this and you're the reason why... I get to keep showing up why I get to eat ice cream in bed and hang out with you. You can keep hanging out with me in over 160 other videos. Of course, they're all linked down below. And until the next video, I can't wait to see you then. Later.